good morning you guys and welcome back to my channel i don't know if i'm starting this as a new vlog or i'm just continuing on i don't even know but anyway today is saturday the day before valentine's day and i have some things that we have got to get done but first off um yesterday me and raymond celebrated valentine's day early so we did it on friday instead of sunday and um i cooked dinner and stuff and of course i didn't vlog any of that because that's just like a very intimate time between me and him so yeah i did that and this morning i woke up and was like okay i got some things i have to do i want to make something um new with my cricket and um just some other good things so i was like okay let me go ahead and get up make me a coffee which Oh my god you guys i have freaking like the best recipe for coffee and it's literally only three ingredients so bomb but anyway yeah so i was like let me get up make me some coffee and um you know get dressed shower all that good stuff so i come into my office because i was like okay i'm gonna vlog today um let me charge my camera which i still have one bar hopefully it doesn't die on me <laughs> and i come in now y'all my office is atrocious so Please bear with me. Um, I come in and look at what I see. Now, please excuse that. I was trying to get content for some of my stuff. He got me this cute little Hello Kitty mirror. And he know. Like if you know me, you know I love Hello Kitty. And then he made this little jar thingy with our picture. It's a hideous picture of us. Um, but, yeah, I'm telling you, it's like so freaking sweet and then he got my favorites because he know i love the pretzel m ms mm, so bomb yeah and i was just like how stinking cute is he like that is so cute that is so sweet that is so special um especially being that we are still part of this financial phase which i think i said in the beginning of this video either the last vlog i'm not sure um but yeah so i was just like Oh, how sweet of him. And he got me flowers, which I picked up some flowers myself. Um, but he grabbed me some flowers, which I also thought was super cute. But yeah, so today we have quite a bit to do. Sorry, it's kind of dark in my house. I have no lights on. We have quite a bit to do. Oh, let me show you guys my flowers. There's my flowers. So I picked up the baby breasts and the hydrangeas and then he picked those up for me. So stinking cute. But yeah, so we have quite a bit of things to do. I am first going to show y'all what I put in my coffee and then take my baby out to go potty. Um, and then I have to run by the post office. I need to go to Target to get a sweatshirt. And yes, I still am on my financial fast, but... <clears throat> It is for the business, so buying things for the business don't really count in that part. Um, and then I was, like, craving some Chick-fil-A. Like, legit wanting Chick-fil-A. And because we're not spending any, like, extra money on things right now, I seen this girl on TikTok. She went to Aldi's and got their, like, breaded chicken sandwich. And their, <clears throat> excuse me, and their, I think I'm saying it right, brioche bun. I think I said it right. Um, yeah, so I was like, ooh, I'm going to try that because I want some Chick-fil-A so bad. And then I'm going to go pick up, I'm going to get some French fries while I'm in there too. And I still have some, like, leftover Chick-fil-A barbecue sauce in there. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to eat for lunch because it is 10.45. So, I'm like, ooh, I could totally do that for lunch, but... Yeah, that's all that I really have planned today. Um, yeah, so let me show you this coffee. All right, so I took Paigey out and she is walked. I have here my reusable Starbucks cup. I got this from Walmart like years ago. Probably like when I first got married. So it was like almost three years ago. I just filled that cup up to as much coffee that I would want. And I put it in here. The little water reservoir. Whatever. How you say a thing. So. I'm just going to turn it on. Turn it on. Lift this up. Because I'm just doing a water. So I don't put a pot in. It's blinking for me to press the big K. Press that. It heats the water up. So. Where did my coffee go? Oh, over here. Um, okay. 
So, this is the coffee that I purchased. So, this is the, like, dynamic duo. So, sorry, I'm blocking my own light here. So, I have the Starbucks Via Instant coffee and that is in medium roast and pike place rolls 100 percent arabic instant and micro ground coffee is eight packets in there and i want to say this was like maybe six dollars something like six or seven dollars so not bad and they look like this pull it out it's kind of hard with one hand you guys um so they look like this oh yes you guys and your girl got her nails done but we'll talk about that on the car ride but it looks like this and um yeah it's really easy on the go type of thing i love it it tastes really really good so on the back it tells you if it's blondie medium which is balanced smooth and rich or dark this one here is the medium um and this here which is the star of the show i picked up from target as well this is the non-dairy creamer almond milk and oat milk hazelnut latte which let me tell you once you put this in you legit do not even need any like um sugar any flavoring any anything like this does it all and it's 30 calories for one tablespoon and i think i use maybe like one and a half or two so i'm having what 45 calories to 60 calories just from coffee which no i'm not counting my calories but for some of you guys who are that's just facts for you trying to see if I can see um, this new documentary that they're talking about about Britney Spears on Hulu but for some reason it's not coming up on my Hulu and I have no clue why it's not coming up so it said it can either be on Hulu or FX so I'm on FX right now oh it's called the New York Times presents okay so let's see i don't know while i try and get that working i'm gonna show you guys my food so i did put bacon on it but look at that that's the chicken sandwich you got cheese my fries and of course my chick-fil-a barbecue sauce and i have some mm, can i get it up i got some bacon y'all okay i am about to go in and oh my god wait and i got the best cookies ever like oh my god i freaking love those cookies those are like the best freaking cookies and then of course i got my medicine and yes i know it's like almost three o'clock i had a very 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 interesting um sunday to say the least i'm about to go get covid tested because a good friend of mine's um, and someone that I work closely with tested positive, so I now have to go get tested, which is fine. Better safe than sorry. Oh, a lot of shaking. But okay, you guys, I am in the car, and I told y'all that I had a story time for y'all. So, as you can see from the title that I put in the title, could you believe that the freaking shower sent me to the emergency room? Like... I can't say a plain regular shower because it wasn't a plain regular shower, but the shower. So, all right. I sit there and I am taking a shower and I was like, okay, like I really need to do my hair because as you can see from the last few clips, like your girl ain't washed her hair in a good two weeks. I just been wearing it in a pineapple or whatever. So I'm just like, all right, your girl need to wash her hair. I'm like, okay, well, while I'm in there, I need to exfoliate, shave, all this good stuff okay fine so it's not like i've never ever done these things before okay like all at one time because i have but the only difference is is that yesterday 
when I was doing it, this sun has me so bright, but I literally turned the camera thing all the way down and it's still really bright. Sorry, y'all. But, um, yeah, so yesterday, um, I did not turn the water off. So, I say about 90% of the time, because yesterday my hair was like really, really mad and stuff. So, I typically like turn the shower off, like when I part my hair into like my four sections or whatever, I will turn the shower off um, and detangle it and all of that stuff like that and then turn the shower water back on. So, it'll be like a off, on, off, on, off, on type of situation. So, yesterday because it was like cold in the bathroom I was just like oh screw it I'm just gonna leave the water on the whole entire time so I had to be oh that scared the mess out of me I had to be in the shower for a good hour 10 hour and 20 minutes y'all like no lie um, and then I got out, I got out of the shower, you know, and I started feeling like a little dizzy and like lightheaded. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, let me relax because, you know, I was just doing whatever. Um, I then begin to sit here. Where's my exit? Oh, I then sit here and I'm just like, okay, wait a minute. Like, this isn't getting any better. I'm like leaning over the freaking um, bathroom sink and I'm like, okay, this isn't getting any better. Like, whatever. So I was like, let me go ahead and go lay on the bed. Now, mind y'all, this might be TMI, but your girl is on her menstrual, okay? <laughs> so I'm sitting here. I did not have any time to fix myself in reference to some to some sort of sanitary option whether that be a pad or a tampon like this is how bad it was so I said okay so I sit here and I go and I grab my towel and I'm just like you know what so be it I'm just gonna have to lay on the bed with the towel on you know on the bed and I'm just gonna have to throw the towel out and get me new sheets or whatever like my life is more important than a towel and some bed spray so I said okay so I start to do that and it did not get any better it got worse so I'm just like what in the world oh my god look at that pothole there um I'm just like what in the world is happening to me and then next thing you know it did not get any better <clears throat> it did not get any better and I'm just like okay now I need to go call for help so literally maybe like 10 minutes before this all happened my husband had just got home so I get up and I like stumble over to my door because he was in his bathroom and I'm like Raymond Raymond I need help I need help I need help all while calling on the name of Jesus because y'all know honey there's something about that name okay it'll get you through but I'm just sitting here like Raymond 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 now mind you what my god these rolls are horrible um while i'm sitting here like while i was sitting there laying on the bed i'm just like the blood of jesus the blood of jesus the blood of jesus like yo i'm telling you i was so stinking scared so anyway i get up you know i call for raymond next thing you know i see him but it's like very blurry at this point in time yo these roads whew, it's very blurry at this point in time right now because i'll you know it was no blood going to my brain um and I see him come out the bathroom next thing you know I don't know what happened I just kind of like faintly remember me like continuing to say like the blood of Jesus and then um I like feel my husband like hands on me and he's praying and then I like come back to like all the way and I'm on the ground like sitting down holding his leg like clutching to his leg for dear life and as I come to I'm still continuing to say the blood of Jesus I'm just like oh my god like what is happening so Raymond is just like come on babe let's go let's go and I was like I need to get to a hospital I need to get to a hospital and at this point I'm just like I don't know what it was like I did not know what could happen to me um I have not shared this on my channel, but 
I do have like thyroid issues or whatever the case may be so I didn't know if that was it um, I also had an issue back in like 2016 I think it was either 2016-2017 where I had extra fluid um, around my brain so I didn't know if that was that like I didn't know what was going on so I'm just like, okay, we get to the hospital or we start, oh, wait, wait, before I drive, before we left the house, I'm like sitting here and you could tell I was coming back too because I remembered I was on my menstrual and I'm sitting on the ground, mind you, I'm butt naked, okay? I'm sitting on the ground and I'm like, oh my gosh, so then I start to shove the towel in between my legs because I didn't want Raymond to see. And he's like, Renee, get up. <laughs> don't nobody care I'm like I'm on my period he's like I don't care get up get up so then I sit there and I slowly get up and I recognize that I hurt my foot I guess as I fell um as I collapsed down to the ground or whatever and um I'm like oh my god my foot is hurting so I couldn't really get up but when I did get up I sat there and start like wiping off the floor with the towel and he's just like Renee let's go I go in the bathroom and he like goes and get my pad and my underwears and all the stuff like that and I'm like trying to put it on so I'm like okay so then I go in the bathroom and I forget like I had uh some more hair in the in the um shower I'm wash my hair so I'm trying to get the hair out of the shower he's like Renee are you kidding me <laughs> he's like Renee are you kidding me are you seriously trying to clean like you just collapsed like on the ground and you're trying to clean so I'm just like okay okay so I start getting dressed and then I go back in the bathroom to look and make sure it's decent turn on he was just like Renee like I'm like he was not playing with me so I said he's not playing anymore um so then anyway we go to the hospital I start to feel you know a lot better it just was pain in my foot so I tell them you know what was going on at the hospital and the PA who was a very nice guy um says to me oh well you know you were in the shower for a very long time and the hot steam you know sat there and dilated your vessels now you guys I know this stuff I do but I don't know why it did not hit me that that was it or that could happen like I don't know so he's like yeah it um dilated your vessels and basically all the blood in your body because so like if you don't know the blood in your body circulates it goes from one side up and around and around and around so being at the fact that my my vessels were so dilated that it could not make its way back up and it was fighting against gravity because you know like it it, the, it was just so big my di my vessels was just so big um and it could not make its way back up to my brain so then once I got out the shower I guess that's when you know it started to hit me and then I went to go lay in the bed and instead of me staying there you know in the bed which I should have but I didn't feel myself getting any better I jumped up so he was like you know when you jumped up or not jumped up necessarily but when I got up he said it kind of was like if as, as if I just flushed the toilet and all the blood went back down to my feet and that's why I collapsed because there was no more blood going and circulating up to my brain so I sat there um in the hospital and he was explaining to me and I'm just like oh my god like here it is I do like freaking vascular cases all the time and like I know this stuff and it's just so weird like when it comes to you you don't think you're invincible but you don't think like these things would happen and because I've done it before like I just never I don't know I just never thought about that happening to me so anyway so um they just wanted to do some blood work on me and stuff and then they took an x-ray my foot is not broken but I have to have like a bruised bone or something because my toe my big toe hurts so bad um and um they did the blood work everything was fine my blood pressure was fine I mean my hemoglobin was a little bit low but that's nothing new to me to be honest um and yeah like it just it just was so stinking crazy like it was just so crazy I felt so bad you know for my husband I'm like crying more so because I felt bad for him more than anything um 
I, I, I literally just kept crying, kept crying, kept crying, like saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he's like, what are you apologizing for? It's not like you did that on purpose. And of course, I cracked a joke. Like, it wouldn't be me if I didn't. I was just like, oh, I did that so I can have all of your attention, which is not the truth. That's not the truth. I would never put myself in harm, myself or anybody in harm's way to get attention. But um, I just had to crack a joke. Um, and I just felt so bad for him because, you know, like, like, I feel like, okay, when you work in like a medical field or medical anything, or just a, a high pace adrenaline, like high adrenaline rush area, you are prepared for those situations. My husband do not work in that type of field at all. Okay. Like he he did what he knew best which was prayer which is perfectly fine with me because a prayer can get me a long way but you know um and that's another thing i i wholeheartedly thank god for a praying husband like child that that's a whole nother story but um yeah he you know he did what he did best which was pray and thank god he did i came you know like i said i came back to and i was just like okay we need to go to the hospital whatever but i just felt so bad because i put him in that situation and like i did not mean to i never want to put you know him or anybody in that situation you know um like that because that's a scary situation like to see your spouse or your loved one you know just super limp like I was literally like so weak he said he just opened the door and the next thing I know you know I just fell to the ground like I was just so weak and to feel your own body weak like that is just it's crazy it is like extremely crazy a very weird feeling i never ever 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 want to feel that feeling again <laughs> um yeah it was just a lot but i now know do not do that i must separate my shower exfoliation and my hair washing days like i can't do all three together you know um or if I do, make sure I shut the water off, you know, like I typically do. And, yeah, like, it was just a crazy, 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 crazy experience. Um, as of right now, I'm feeling okay. Um, they did not tell me I could not drive, so here I am driving. Um, they didn't say I couldn't drive. They didn't put me on any type of restrictions because it was literally caused by a shower. <laughs> they just said please don't do that again so um yeah and they were very very nice very very helpful um very understanding of course uh, Raymond could not come in the back with me to the hospital he just came into the emergency park got me in a wheelchair filled out my paperwork um and that was it but he was not allowed due to COVID which I already know um he can't come back there it y'all it's just an experience that i never ever 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 want to deal with ever again go through it's just it's just crazy but i am almost at oh i'm one minute away from this place that i need to go i'm going to muhlenberg hospital i think it is um to go get tested and I'm praying for a negative result. I still can't go back to work though. I cannot go back to work until Friday because um, I I have to wait like four days or something like that. So four or five days, I get tested today, and then I get tested again on Thursday. And if both and if both of those or when both of those, I'm not even gonna say if when both of those come back negative then I'm allowed to return back to work. Um, and then after that, I have to get tested every day for five days after. So, I'm just like, Lord, please let your girl test negative because we ain't got time for that, okay? Good morning, you guys. Today is what? Mm. Today is Wednesday. I did not check in with you guys yesterday, but I really came on here to put y'all on game real quick. Like, this bread right here, okay? 
I got that from Aldi and it's the apple strudel breakfast bread. Oh my gosh. Like it is so stinking good. I had a piece of it, so that's why it kind of looks that's why I don't look like it was um eaten, but I had a piece of the other piece. Oh my god, that bread is so freaking good. And you know, I had to be like I just love icing <laughs> on everything, so I have some of my icing left over here, and I'm going to pour some of that on there just to try it, but oh my God, like, I got to put y'all on. It is so stinking good, and it's from Aldi, so if you have an Aldi near you, go ahead and pick that up. Like, it is so freaking good. Oh my God, it is just delicious, and I feel like, too, it would be even better if you had syrup on it, which... You know, like, back in the day, or probably not even back in the day, because I was totally about to do it until I've seen that we didn't have any syrup in here. But, you know how, like, you would partly, like, warm up just, like, a regular slice bread if you didn't really feel like making this big old extravagant um, French toast? So you would do it, like, I don't know if you want to call it the ghetto way, the struggle mill way, whatever you want to call it, but you would just microwave it or warm it up some way, somehow. Like, that's what I want to do to this here and put the syrup on top. Now, I did put this in the pan and get it a little brown, but oh my gosh. Like, so freaking bomb. Y'all have got to try this bread. Hey, guys. So, <laughs> I know I feel like every single time I turn on the camera, I'm in the car, but... As of right now, um, I haven't been really vlogging that much. I did this morning show you guys my breakfast, which was freaking bomb. Like I said, I wish... I'm sorry, you guys. It's so sunny out here. Um, but, um, yeah, the breakfast was so stinking good. Oh, my gosh. It was, like, freaking delicious. Um, I wish I had syrup because that would have just made it so much better <laughs> but um yeah i'm on my way to walmart my husband put in groceries for us and um i'm gonna go pick them up right now it has not been really much like going on just because i told you you know i'm just being watched to make sure that i continue to test negative for covid um oh i don't even know if i got back on the camera i don't think i did come on sir please turn <laughs> um, I don't think I got back on the camera yesterday. I did get my test results for my test, um, my COVID test, and it is negative, so thank you, Lord. I have to go again tomorrow to get tested one more time, and then after I get tested, then I can go back to work, and then for five days after, I go to get tested every day again, like five days after, so... Yeah, um, no signs, no symptoms, thank God. I really don't, you know, I don't think I have it. Um, it's just a precautionary type of thing, so that's fine. Keep everybody safe. But um, I just want to come on here and check in and, um, yeah, just say what's up. I was actually watching, um, what was it? this like documentary about tiger woods and it's crazy like i've always said this and i've been feeling this way for like forever um like i feel like we as like people in a society we put so much pressure on um people that's like famous like an entertainment business and all of this stuff like wealthy people we put so much pressure on them to be perfect and if you have not seen the tiger wood things like um, documentary I would like highly suggest you to go ahead and like watch it I think it came on HBO or something like that um because ooh, oh Jesus <laughs> um because it's just crazy like this poor man felt like he couldn't even be himself because of such a standard we hold um or he was held at I should say by people you know what I mean and it just kind of sucked because it's like you know you wonder why people go and you know in their life or go on drugs 
or you know do all of these like harmful things to themselves and it's because of the pressure that we put on them and that's just not you know cool like I don't think that that's cool nor fair and um it it brought him down because of the simple fact that like he was doing things and I'm not going to tell it because obviously I want you guys to go watch it but he was doing things that typical men that a typical man or I shouldn't say typical he would do he was doing things that men do or that some men do you know and he was like scrutinized so much more because he was in the limelight now I know some people are like well that's what comes with it that is true because your business is out there but it was just so sad that the pedestal that he was put on by us you know it's I don't know like it's just really really sad even like to veer off a little bit even when it came to um even when it came to Cardi B and like I was watching one of her stories and she had her own song playing in the background okay whatever fine and then her daughter came in and she's like no 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 and turned it off or either asked culture to leave whatever the case may be and then people was talking about her I'm just like y'all and she went on there and said you know the music that I make is not for my daughter which is very true you know what I mean like first of all you know I feel like people always have something to say whether you're famous or not famous like it just is what it is and right but two like y'all coming at her for sitting here oh I should have got gas I can guess later um y'all sitting here coming at her and being mad with her because she turns her music off and talk about something well if that's not the type of music you want your daughter to listen to then maybe you shouldn't make it or something like that was said and it's like okay but that's the type of music that we like from her you know what I mean like you know and I forgot what other female rapper said it because somebody has said one of the male rappers has said something about how women make these like raunchy music and all this stuff like that but that's what sells with which is sad to say but you know that's the music we like from her you know what I mean so so what if she's making that music I would rather her you know make the music do what makes her money and 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 not play it in front of her child which she is doing because I think that was a very good mother move like I think the fact that she was like no let's turn it off or either have her daughter to leave the room I think that was a very good move because at the end of the day when you're watching movies and it has sex scenes and stuff don't you cover your kids eyes so I mean like what's the difference and like I just feel like it's just so wrong as a, as a society that people you know just sit here and just scrutinize the way you know celebrities do things so what if she make nasty music y'all listen to it y'all pop y'all hmm to it and everything else so it's just like leave her alone like leave these like we, I feel like, as a people and as a society, sometimes are the downfall to celebrities. You know? And I, I, I don't think I ever held them to that type of a, put them on that type of a pedestal. You know what I mean? But it's just kind of like, I have my own role in it too. I feel like everybody plays a role in it. But it's just like, come on, y'all. Y'all. Like, y'all really got mad at her for saying, like, she shouldn't make that music. So what? Let her make the music that she wants to make and let her be doing and let her continue to do the right thing as a parent. Like, so stinking what? Like, I, I don't know. That just made me so mad because I'm like, y'all really sitting here mad at her for telling her daughter to leave the room or either stop playing. I can't remember which one she did but it's like if she continued to play it and have her daughter in there y'all would been like oh she a bad mother she's in there letting her, her letting to her child listen to stuff like that like y'all would have something to say that way so it's just like oh god like i i don't know i just think you know it's just really really sad that you know these people you know we put them on such a pedestal and they can't really be, be or it's hard for them to be who they really want and it was just really sad about the whole tiger woods thing like i really oops, i gotta get over i really think y'all should watch it because it was really really sad it was a really sad sad thing now i'm not saying what he did was because of the public blah 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 no that's not what i'm saying the part that i'm the part that i'm talking about is the fact that he could not 
you know, be himself, you know what I mean, he couldn't say or do, you know, what he really wanted to do deep down inside because of the pedestal that the people put him on, that is all that I'm saying, are you backing up, okay, good now, but I am here at Walmart, I'm gonna go pick up these gross berries. Oh. I have to call this number. Mm, that skin is looking so good. But I need to do a um I need to shave my skin. Oh, oh that's right, call one more. Y'all I get so distracted. How bad is that? How bad is that? And yes, I do have on my little um necklace that I'm selling in Rayo's closet, my Zodiac saw a necklace. Seven three two. Let's call Wally World. <laughs> the car out here and they already being helped why y'all ain't picking up my phone call thank you for calling online grocery pickup we're sorry we didn't take your call our regular business hours are 7 a.m to 8 p.m excuse me please leave a message and move it oh no i gotta get my groceries i see one guy out here hello Hi, I'm out here um, for a pickup in lane six. Lane six? Or parking okay. spot six. Uh, give me one second. Okay. Um, what is your last, uh, what's your first name? Can you spell your first name, please? Raymond. Nothing came up. Are you sure you're in the right Walmart? Yeah, is it under his, is it under? Uh, okay, let me, give me a second. I'm wearing gloves, it's so hard to tell you. Oh, it's okay. Okay, well, can you spell the last name, please? Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah, the first name is just Ray. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure if he put Ray or Raymond. Okay, um, what, which one, where are you? I'm in, um, spot six. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. I got you. Thank All you. Right. All right, let me go open my trunk up really quickly. Okay, so, come on. Kind of tired of sitting out here with this trunk open. It's freaking freezing. You guys, we are back home, and I'm going to show you what we got. Um, I didn't recognize I bought this much juice, but whatever. <laughs> so... First things first, we got us uh, some smell good stuff. I have the Airwick plugins in all around the house except for my office. I have Bath and Body Works in my office. Um, but I got these and this one here. What fragrance? Oh, fresh linen. Got the fresh linen fragrance. Okay, there we go. So yes, I got fresh linen. You can see that, and then I got the Hawaii one, and it's like papaya and all that stuff. So this is the one that I typically keep like in the living room and kitchen, and that's because this is like a big open area. And then this one here, the fresh linen ones, I keep in like the bedroom and in the bathrooms. I also purchased, hey, it was supposed to be two of these. god anyway i also purchased the um out pro wash workwear odor eliminator and you can use this as a detergent or you can use it as just as just an additive to your um detergent so that helps with that now on to the food i got some syrup because this is what I wanted this morning, but didn't have it. And then I got a whole bunch of juice. The mango punch. How many mango punch I got? I got one, 
two mango punches and then this one here is the peach punch so i got the peach punch and that's one two three four peach punch so that's two four six juices that gotta go in the refrigerator and then i got these here this literally is my favorite stinking juice i love the v8 splash um the tropical blend is not my favorite but it's still delicious this one here is my first time trying the mango peach and this bad boy here the fruit medley that is literally my favorite v8 splash like it tastes so stinking good um and then we got us some salad i got me a caesar salad kit that expires the 24th so i'm gonna have to hurry up and eat those or eat that i should say i got my favorite cookies here for the time being anyway <laughs> Um, the Chewy Chips Ahoy with Reese's. And then, let me put y'all on game real quick again. This here, Green Giant Simply Steam. And the Tuscan flavor or Tuscan season is thebomb.com. Like, my husband put one, two, three. He got three of them. Those things are so stinking good. Like, the flavor and the seasoning so bomb and you can you don't have to but you can put them in the microwave the whole bag in the microwave so that's bomb um i got this large peeled and devein tail off shrimp um i didn't order this big of a bag but i guess they didn't have the small one they gave me the value bag um i typically get fresh shrimp but because i'm not going inside anywhere and walmart does not have fresh shrimp i just went with the frozen um, I got me some mini pretzel twists and Raymond some sweet potatoes and I got this Southwest style chopped salad kit and then just some and then I just got some ground chicken for us. So